episode of My Command Station is brought to you by Legend of the Boy. All young boys dream of having superpowers and being able to do great and wondrous things. Legend of the Boy is a science fiction tale that combines the notions of power, might, right, and destiny. It is the tale of a boy, a stranger to this world, who not only has to save the world, but must destroy it in order to move the human race forward. This is not a story for children. Legend of the Boy, an ebook available exclusively at Amazon.com. Hello and welcome to my desk, aka my command station. This is where I do all my planning and try to take over the world. When I say take over the world, for me that means writing a best-selling novel and leaving a legacy. It may be something else entirely for you. So before I start babbling on about me, let me first tell you about another command station that's been shared with me. My featured guest for today is Eric Jones. Aside from his day job, Eric is a great artist and has even contributed original artwork to my Eternal Curse book one. So here's, oh, let's go ahead and take a look at his command station. He actually has two. So let's look at the first one. This is where he tries to take over the world. Let's have a look and see if we can figure out what it is Eric does. Uh, This desk, uh, it looks some... It's not disorganized. It actually looks like it's very organized, but there's just a lot of stuff on it. Um, The screens right there kind of scream some type of media work. He's got some kind of circuit board there. Um, I'm assuming this is a picture of wifey and him. Looks kind of cute. That that might be a a kid or something right there. Um, But yeah, this looks like he has a very technical job. And um, he doesn't seem to be um, like a messy person, just like a busy person. Uh, He did give me two images, so let's look at the next one. And here's a a dual screens, just like before. High quality, looks like high definition screens. So again, I'm thinking this is screaming media. Check out those speakers. Uh, My computer at home doesn't have speakers like that, so... Maybe it goes beyond just visual. Maybe it's visual and um, audio. Um, I think, and I'm going to read his little description here in just a second, but I'm guessing the first desk is his home office, and then this one is his, you know, work office. I would, I, I'm just saying that because this has a little more sleek, you know, look to it to where, like, if you were going to have a meeting, it would be in this room as opposed to the one we just saw. And I'm thinking maybe he works from home a lot. So let's see what he had to say about these two images. These two images you see here are my workspaces. One is my office at home and the other is my, one is my office at work and the other is my office, my home office. I'm a video editor, motion graphics designer and photographer. I work currently for an ad agency in Williamsburg, Virginia that specializes in pharmaceutical industry. If I'm not in front of a set of these four monitors, I'm in the field producing or taking photos. Well, there you have it. He's definitely, you know, in media. And I, I for one, know that he's a talented person just from having worked with him before. So that's very, very cool. Um, Though I've seen Eric's work and I'm impressed with it, so I sincerely wish him continued success in his field. Now, let's go back a bit and let's take a quick look in my command station. We've seen this before, but let's focus on something else today. Last time I talked about some of my inspiration for, um, you know, trying to reach my goals, and I think I talked a little bit about writing uh, villains or whatever, but right now I want to focus on this little thing right here the laptop (laughs) that I have been pretty much doing all of my work from I need a new laptop (laughs) I may have to change this image because my laptop has not been faithful to me but it's not just any laptop will do and a tablet probably won't work either I do a lot from my laptop aside from you know 
writing all of my stories, outlining characters and creating things. I do the videos from my laptop. You know, when I say that this is my command station, I really mean it. If I'm going to write a best selling novel, if I'm going to build a YouTube following, all of these things I'm doing, it's going to happen here at this desk. And it may or may not be with this particular laptop. So that's all I have for today. Uh, I'll be back next month, still trying to take over the, world, over the world. And as always, you're invited to join me. So what did you think of today's episode? Any questions? Leave your two cents in the comments below. You can follow me on Twitter and send me a picture of your command station with the hashtag MyCommandStation. And you'll have a chance to be featured um, in my next episode to share your efforts to take over the world. I'll be taking a break this weekend, but please come back on Monday because I'll be posting a new episode of book reviews and rants. And remember, if you're ever interested in guest hosting or sponsoring a Toy Box webisode, just visit etoythomas.com to learn more about that. So until next time, this is Toy Thomas saying, I believe that authors are just as important to the world of entertainment as music groups and movie stars. See ya.